This dude has 200,000 viewers Want to right report now. anything to Twitch. But this ex-Twitch partner manager encourages the user and even directs them to file a report For directly with who Twitch. Know, doctor, even though the user told him clearly inspect. that we never physically met anywhere and that no photographs were exchanged. On June 24th, 2020, Twitch's special operations team receives and reviews the user's report. They find no issues and determine that it did not warrant any further escalation to Twitch's law enforcement response team. That would have been the end. <laughs> that should have been the end. Bro, how are you going to wear your f***ing fit while you're, while you're trying to defeat the pedophile allegations that you yourself put out, out that there? No further action will be taken, so what does he do? He personally escalates the report to a friend on the Twitch's LER team. The LER team, remember, that's He's like, Twitch's law bro, enforcement all of response this, team. All of this. He escalates the report to a friend on Twitch's LER let team. Let the record show that although you mocked this man, he got bag and so you did later, respect okay shut up on june 25th all of this is LAR literally on the eve of him being like yeah i tried to a minor who gives a shit <laughs> like that's with crazy his director of the ler team mind you this director this entire is conversation is about him time and does not have being access found to their computer out or work files L let me just remind you i went through a multi-year multi -year, multi a, a big time arbitration okay and uh you know you discover a lot of stuff Mind you, this director is on vacation at that time. The LER analyst cherry picks and sends a few targeted excerpts out of context from the whisper messages to this director. Now, if you do this, you can make anyone's messages look inappropriate. Even when they aren't, within less than one hour, this LER analyst and his director have made the decision to suspend me from Twitch. Twitch submits a report to NCMEC. You guys all read those little articles, huh? The NCMEC. Bro, bro saying he put minor report. in there to bait journalists is so Center funny for, missing and for defamation, children. Guess what? which is hilarious because, as dog, as I know, that's not how defamation works. Dumbass, if you fucking say that you inappropriately texted minors and journalists report. report on it, there is no defamation know, suit that you can work Twitch's with. Which is report to law enforcement. <laughs> Mind you, the same people that made this decision admit internally that the messages did not constitute sexting. The same people that made this decision at Twitch admit internally that the messages did not warrant any child sexual abuse material charge. Twitch makes this decision to terminate my contract and ban me while admitted they did not perform any legal analysis of whether the messages exchanged were legal in any way. Are you afraid of getting sued Twitch by makes him? this decision no. to terminate my contract and ban me while admitting that they never investigated the age of consent in the jurisdiction where the user's messages were sent and received. Twitch makes this decision to terminate my contract and ban me without ever he interviewing said, he me. He said they didn't the look at the agent consent any other in the third party, including the oh, partner manager. It's oh, fucking he hit the Monty. He hit the Monty. He said agent consent in the in the jurisdiction, as in like, oh, it was. <laughs> hey guys, it's not about federal age of consent, okay? It's like every state has a different age of consent law. I'm not gonna get into every detail regarding my legal case. <clears throat> But these former Twitch employees that claim to have firsthand knowledge, they just don't have a clue. They didn't report any facts. Bro said there's a loophole. <laughs> the judge in the case determined that the whispers were not illegal. So then why did Twitch use these messages against me? I, I, why did Twi Twitch treat the docs so differently from their other streamers? I mean, outside of the obvious. I mean, just take a look at me. <laughs> Unfiltered. The realest motherfucker in this industry. <laughs> Dude, Six you're literally eight. dressed up. Gorgeous, athletic, successful, How are college you doing degree, a character? college athlete, bourbon business, How are gaming you doing student. doing a character student in the midst of being, and trust me, like in the midst of like pedophilia allegations, I'm losing person, my mind, bro. A husband and father, and to get where we're at today. I mean, I'm in such a good place today. And all these people, they all act like they're just so perfect. I'm not perfect. This is madness, actually madness. I don't claim to be perfect. Eh, sometimes I do. But I also didn't do all the shit that they're saying I did. But then that doesn't make a story, right? They wanted media attention. The media wants controversy. And by sensationalizing all this with big and accurate headlines like sexting and sexually explicit, you all got what you wanted at the expense of the two time. The reality is they wanted to cut down the dock, plain and simple.
take a look at some of these horrendous acts of Twitch streamers that were never banned. I've got some examples right here. Oh, I, I example I number if, one. Am I going to be on this? A streamer that frequently used the N word while publicly streaming, which constitutes a violation of Twitch's policies if accompanied by hateful intent. Twitch scheduled a meeting with the streamer to assert his intent to determine whether his contact was a violation of Twitch's policies, ultimately determining it was not a breach of Twitch's policies. Why wasn't I called into a, from, into a meeting? Why wasn't my intent taken into consideration, champs? Hmm. Example number two. You think he's reading or riffing? Streamer was reported for discussing doing things with deceased animals and discussing pedophilia oh, all while fuck. live streaming. Never suspended, but instead given a multi-million dollar contract. Example number three. Who the fuck Streamer is that? was reported for a sexually explicit stream involving children and telling children to send Snapchats of them playing with Who's themselves. That? Never suspended, but instead <laughs> given Bro. a multi-million dollar contract. Who are these people? Hey, yo. It's so obvious that certain Twitch executives, <laughs> employees involved had personal biases <laughs> against the doc and used all of this as an opportunity to terminate my contract. <laughs> Go back and look at the timing Bro, the, of all this, That's too. insane. Huh. The doc's termination lines up with two preferable, profitable, and expensive streamers leaving Mixer. As soon as Twitch knew that Mixer had failed, and go look at the timing. If the N-word mentioned other is Kai, that, that's streamers crazy. Needed a new streaming like, platform. Twitch didn't ban a black Twitch streamer for using the N-word is like an time. insane fucking thing to say. I doubt that he means Kai. See, There's no way, right? from Twitch. They're after me because I'm a straight white guy. <laughs> it has affected us on so many levels back in 2020 and now in 2024. And Cody, Connors, I just have to say it again. Why would you do this? Like I said, this was handled professionally years ago. No fucking wrongdoing. By the way, the reason why I was not mentioned you, in this is because Twitch bans my ass more than anybody else. We just <laughs> lost. Ah, fuck, man. Unfortunately, we have to lay off people from Midnight Society. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, it's everyone else's fault and not yours for trying to fuck minors. Because You're of you, right. Cody. That's crazy. He's blaming. Dude, that is insane, dude. That is an insane thing to say. Oh, my God. Mm. Yo, streamers have too much power. Streamers you know, have too much this, power. We are where we are. Midnight dropped you, brother. Like what are you man, talking about? It. Were you banned for not? But I don't accept yeah, sitting quietly by and let these idiots attack me with false accusations. No. For all these doc haters out there too, oh man. Dog, you that... admitted to inappropriately texting a minor. What the fuck I, is this I, entire I, I conversation? I don't <gasps> I could care less. We've always stayed in our lane. But somehow, Bruh. some way, these people, they just get Bruh. in our lane. For all you doc haters, I'm sure you'll dissect, dissect all of this and still find a way to publicly criticize me. Do what you need to do. I'll say this. This isn't for you. This was for my team today. My community, my friends, la familia that have supported me. And I'm not denying the exchange of whispers, champs. I'm not denying that to, to all oh. of you out there. It looks bad. I have no way of knowing if the Twitch users thought our exchange of whispers was inappropriate. If it was, I apologize. All I, all I know is that I never did what Twitch, Cody Connors, or the public is claiming wait, that I did. But you would... Wait, what? Wait, his angle is literally, yeah, I tried to fuck a minor, but like, it wasn't illegal technically, even though it was, but it wasn't illegal enough for there to be like, it warrant a criminal prosecution. Trust me, I have more. I haven't disclosed. Also, other people also have done awful things. I just want to get back to what we do best. Put on a show and climb our way to the tippity top of the mountain, man. In our own lane. His argument is literally, I wasn't criminally charged for it. Yeah, there could be a litany of different reasons as to why there was no criminal prosecution beyond this. There are literally kick streamers right now that are targeting minors and collecting CSAM, and they're not fucking legally prosecuted. That doesn't mean that they're not doing that. That's number one. And number two, a platform's responsibility to stop further predation of minors is obviously going to be significantly different than like what warrants a criminal prosecution it doesn't have to get to that criminal element 
for a platform to understandably say one of our largest fucking streamers that we've given multiple millions of dollars to was trying to fuck a minor at TwitchCon. People we are, show the message, release the messages. We the messages. don't think this is a good idea. We're going to fucking perma you. What are we in second grade? Oh, he's, he's also refusing to leak the messages because he doesn't want to show them because obviously they're fucked up. The beginning was more of an explanation of the conversation, though. Not so like defending said, him, but he talked for 10 minutes before the convo. Chance. Still fucked up. Yeah, I'm going to... I'll look at that During in a this, second. YouTube demonetized us. Uh, we have S September 25th is when we can reapply. <laughs> um... What are we in second grade is crazy when you're talking about trying to fuck a minor and like people are like, hey, we, we want to see what Start you mean. Start Doc. Where's the chat? What is the chat saying? Chat summary. Viewers are expressing okay. their support for Dr. Usman and expressing excitement about his return to streaming. Many are calling for him to sue for defamation and are critical of other streamers who turn their backs on him. A few viewers are critical of Dr. Disrespect. Fuck. All right, let's uh, let's start from the fucking jump, because right, I didn't. I don't know anything about it. Basically, all you got to do is jump off the diving board, lean back, cover your eyes, and just kind of arc your lower back just a little bit. What like, are we in second grade? I would like to be in second grade. <laughs> After weeks of speculation, Doctor Disrespect, who previously admitted to inappropriate behavior involving a minor, has returned to streaming on YouTube though with significant limitations. As the controversy unfolded, YouTube demonetized his channel, but Dr. Disrespect has expressed a desire to remain on the platform rather than moving to alternatives like Kick or Rumble, which are known for hosting more controversial figures. Despite this, he plans to reapply for monetization at the end of the month. In the meantime, he can still accept donations and viewers are contributing. His first return stream drew an initial audience of 230,000 viewers, though this dropped to 160,000 within 30 minutes, which is still a sizable number. He has restricted chat to subscribers who have been following him for the at least 13 weeks, likely to prevent discussions about, about the allegations and his confession. So let me explain a couple things for people who are just tuning in. Okay, let me explain. To be fair, I did see quite a few people earlier saying he already admitted to it. So for those of you who uh, are, are unfamiliar with what's going on, this was one of the largest content creators on Twitch, uh, very famous for a litany of different controversies, most of them involving him cheating on his wife, one of them involving him uh, inappropriately filming inside of a bathroom at E3, I believe, or was it TwitchCon? Anyway, he's been banned a bunch of times for a bunch of different things. Overall, he unceremoniously out of nowhere in a very weird time for Twitch when there was like a lot of a string of Me Too allegations happening in the streaming space when Twitch had released a statement saying, hey, if there's anyone you want to report, if you've ever been like predated on, you know, no holds barred, please let us know. And right around that same tweet uh, during the string of Me Too allegations happening in the Twitch sphere, he just gets banned out of nowhere. And this becomes a major controversy. It's one of the biggest mysteries in the streaming space of all time. This was a couple years ago. Now, all of a sudden, a couple months prior to now, one of the former Twitch employees comes out and is like, yeah, that motherfucker got banned because he was trying to fuck a minor, okay? Fuck him and all of his homies, right? Fuck him and all of his homies. Then everybody starts reporting on it. They're like, oh my God, turns out, yeah, he was actually trying to fuck a minor. What the hell's going on? right so here's the deal here's the deal even when that originally started like all this controversy and shit like i personally was like listen we don't know yet we don't have enough detail we don't have enough evidence and then well i didn't have to say that any longer because he came out with a fucking long ass effort post being like yeah i tried to talk to a minor inappropriately what of it he just came out and admitted it and then he just fucked off for like a month as a 35 year old man at the time now he's like 40 but as a 35 year old man at the time 
he was in the whispers of Twitch of a minor trying to cheat on his wife with a minor, okay? These are things that he fucking admitted to. He said he's, you know, inappropriately talked to a fucking minor. The minor, obviously, years later, reported that fucking conversation to Twitch. And Twitch banned him when they found out. They were like, this is crazy. Boom, banned. So what is crazy about this, what is crazy about this entire process is that, like, yeah, also the, the, the original employee didn't even fucking say Dr. Respect by name. The original employee was like, yeah, that motherfucker, uh, yeah, he was like, oh, he was that, that motherfucker got banned for being a pedophile, like trying to fuck a uh, minor or whatever, right? I stand by my reporting 100% says slasher. No, I, 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 uh, I, I, I get it. You know, I, I don't have any issues with your, you have evidence? Dog, what do you mean? Do I have evidence? Look in front of you. Are y'all fucking delusional? He literally said, were there Twitch whisper messages with the individual minor back in 2017? The answer is yes. That is crazy, bro. Okay, we are now officially reaching new levels of like insanity okay we're reaching new levels of like i never really thought in in big old 2024 we would have motherfuckers that reversed back beyond like caveman shit okay I used to joke, I'd be like, oh, dude, you got real peasant brain. Like, you're like, oh, me lord, you deserve all the grain, me lord. Motherfuckers are now literally, like, inventing fire stage at this point, okay? Brains have been completely fucking flipped. Dog, he admitted it. What do you mean? What's the evidence? Are you a baby? Do you not have object permanence? Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Did you just hit a reset? You saw Doc and you were like, fuck, man, I forgot everything. Okay, I forgot everything. <laughs> what the hell? Anyway, which is what's crazy about the situation. He fucking said, were there Twitch whisper messages with the individual minor back in 2017? The answer is yes. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> yeah, but can we trust it? It's his word against his word. I don't know. <laughs> and then, of course, a litany of fucking mainstream outlets obviously covered the story okay of course they did he self-reported dude he fucking self-reported but now he's back and apparently he's addressing it all now he had a moment he why did why would he admit it he why would he admit it he didn't have to i don't even know dude i don't even know this is after he originally said it was inappropriate messages then edited to this version yeah he said he said th that he inappropriately messaged a minor in 2017. Then he deleted the word minor from his message, not realizing that when you edit a Twitter post, it still stays. Like the original fucking version of it is still there permanently. Then he edited the minor word back in. And what's crazy about that, what's crazy about all of this, okay, is the fact that he, he he openly fucking talked about it openly uh, openly admitted this shit okay and then he very predictably hit the fucking right wing griff button when he was like i'm gonna come back and also they them <laughs> gender <laughs> lol hassan is so salty lol 220k viewers hassan could never get 220k i mean i have and i could it's also ironic because once again this has nothing to do with view counts, brother. What are you talking about? Why are you talking about view counts, dude? Why are you talking about view counts? You're defending a pedo. What the fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> Y'all are so dumb, dude. What the fuck? And in terms of like suing someone for defamation, you can't do that if you fucking openly are like, yeah, I inappropriately texted a, 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 a minor. Like, yeah, I did that shit. You can't do that. What do you mean? In order for it to be defamation, especially in the United States of America, there has to be an intent, malicious intent to defame, knowing full well what the truth is, okay? You have to, without a doubt, know that this person was not a pedophile and you're still calling him a pedophile and you have to at least, like, they have to prove that you know that he's not a pedophile and you want to call him a pedophile regardless to defame him, okay? Okay? You can't do that when someone is like, yeah, I was trying to fuck minors. Like, you can't do that. 
And in terms of like inappropriate messaging, in terms of inappropriate messaging of minors, like you can't, we're going to get to, we're going to get back to his statement. I want to see the whole thing, but like, just because something is not criminally prosecuted doesn't mean that it's not inappropriate nor reaches the fucking bar for a platform to ban you. Okay. I, I don't think he was inappropriately talking to a minor about like, I don't know, serving the top of the hour ad break and how you can fucking avoid it. You know, like, I doubt that he was like whispering that. Why does everyone conflate pedophilia with ephebophilia? I'm not condoning either, but there's a huge difference. Oh my Lord, dude, dog. We are talking about a 35 year old man with a wife trying to fuck someone under the age of 18. You are being gross as hell. Okay. Like, yes, there's different variants of trying to fuck minors. You are not making the argument that you think you are making. You still are gross as fuck. Stop doing this libertarian defense. What the fuck? People are crazy, brother. People are crazy right now. People are way too comfortable saying some unhinged ass shit. Okay. Anyway, like I, uh, like I said earlier, the three minute ad break is upon us. Okay. <clears throat> Can you mention the dog is married and has a kid? Yes. Yeah. Chatters are talking about like how doc was 19 and the fucking victim is 17 or something. And they were in high school together. Like that's not how this is. Okay. The entire point of of a platform wanting to not allow that and and not having that ever is because they also don't want fucking legal liabilities like duh what the fuck you don't want one of your top content creators that you're giving millions of dollars to whispering to fucking minors trying to fuck them at twitchcon dude what are you crazy they have a responsibility to protect their fucking consumers like what are you talking about what are you fucking talking about dude we don't even know how old the minor was Giant streamers on this platform right now defending him who have been convict convinced by that bullshit talking about age of consent shit clown show. Dude, I really do worry. Hey, I mean, here, I'm going to run the three minute ad break right now, but I really do worry that like the more people get like the more people try to normalize this behavior, the more, especially when someone is like clouded up, the more other dumbasses will also repeat this shit. Like this is inappropriate guys. Okay. I cannot believe I'm saying this. Okay. Trying to fuck minors is insane. There is a reason why it is illegal. Okay. What the fuck? What are we doing? I cannot believe that like, like I thought this shit was bad when people were like, nah, dude, minors gambling is fine. You know, promoting gambling to crypto casinos, the minors is actually per perfectly valid. I mean, there's plenty of vices that content creators also do on a regular basis. Like that was one thing we have leveled up. Okay, we have genuinely leveled up. This is so much worse. Like, this is not even in the same spectrum of behavior at this point. Okay, what the fuck? I feel like I'm losing my goddamn mind. Like, what are we doing? This time, Dr. Disrespect's new explanation is that a Twitch partner manager who allegedly held a personal grudge against him collected his Twitch messages and shared out-of-context screenshots with Twitch's trust and safety team, legal department, and others within the company. He claims these actions ultimately led to his ban. According to him, Twitch's trust and safety team initially determined that the messages did not constitute sexting or violate federal laws regarding child exploitation and he insists that no graphic sexual messages or images were exchanged with the minor however despite this twitch still proceeded with the ban dr disrespect also claims that the minor involved did not want to escalate the situation to twitch this motherfucker's playing wordle are you kidding me i and ren rem rep repi ain't no way dog Oh, champs. You see, there was a lawsuit pending. Okay, okay. After the Wordle bit is done, he just gets into it. Yeah, just keep ignoring the issue and putting up this act. God, I'm so concerned and worried about everyone else's problems except mine because I'm dealing with a deeper depression and I like to project. <laughs> oh, champs, champs, champs. A lot of people donating. I, I, I do appreciate it. I do appreciate it. You know, a lot of people donating. Hey, Doc, keep up the good work. Love the love the. <laughs> thank God you're back. <laughs> thank God you're back. Keep up the keep up the good work, Doc. <laughs> really hate that you're 
uh, really hate that you came out and admitted to uh, inappropriately texting minors to fuck them at TwitchCon. Um, you know, <laughs> love you, Doc. Love you, Champ. <laughs> Doctor Disrespect, bad Cody Co. Good. That never. I never said that. What are you doing? What are you saying? No. What, what like what is going on right now, bro? Twenty two month subscriber, grimy waifu. I'm not defending either of these people. I never have. What the fuck? You got to ask yourself, like, why am I making shit up? Why am I hallucinating positions that have never been fucking uttered? Like, you're, you're trying to do hypocrisy baiting, but you've also... First of all, hypocrisy baiting in this situation doesn't make any sense whatsoever because both parties are in the wrong, and you're just simply literally trying to defend the actions of one party, okay? But in this situation, it's, it still doesn't fucking matter. You're not saying that? I am? Wait, what? Okay, bro, take take some time off, okay? You're losing their fu you're losing your fucking mind. Are you nervous to be back? After what's transpired over the last couple months, am I excited to be back to this type of world? <laughs> God. Man. Oh. So glad you're back. Hey, I appreciate it, si Shane. It's good to be back to a certain degree. Right? We got to figure out this monetization thing. So it's September 25th. That's is, a big concern for me too. Thanks, dog. Is basically when we can reapply for partnership on YouTube. You know, people ask, like, do, do I, now that you're not getting monetized, you're not going to be streaming ever again or you're on YouTube, are you? I, I'm, there's an opportunity to reapply, right? September 25th is the date. So in the meantime, we'll, we'll do what we need to do. Uh, I enjoy my time here on YouTube. You know, we've built a nice, strong community for years. This is where we started 16 years ago, 2008, I think, you know, I like my time here and I like the community. It's, we've got the best realist gaming community, right? The champions club. And we've, we've built it on this platform. And this is, and if there's an opportunity to reapply for partnership and there's a date that's been presented to us. Doc, I'm I'm like, I love it. you, doc. I have my own case like this. You beat it. I, I had a really corrupt liberal DA that pushed a harsh sentence. I'm on a list now, but glad you're back. The two time is back. Yeah. He's like, yeah, my, my YouTube channel is 16 years old, which, you know, may or may not have been the fucking age of the person that I was sending inappropriate text messages to, inappropriate whispers to. Meantime, like we always done, we've always stayed in our lane. As a strict utilitarian, I'm torn on one hand. He has materially harmed children, but I have also seen 12-year-olds on Twitter say he streams saved their life what should i do <laughs> i can't tell if you're joking or not dude there ain't no way there ain't no fucking way you're being for real right like there's no dude the neurodivergence is off the charts in this in this chat and i i also have it so it's hard for me to like assess whether or not and please tell me it's a joke and i'm just not getting it we'll stay in our lane and continue to just put on a show you know for almost four years Champs, the public demanded to hear from the doc regarding the Twitch suspension. I guess since you all missed the point with my personal statement, maybe it's time to tell my side of the story. Missed the point? Brother, everyone understood the point. You delivered the point. Nobody missed the fucking point. You, you admitted to it. What the fuck do you mean? You literally admitted to it. You admitted to it. Like, ain't nobody missed the point, bro. You copped to it. You admitted it. What are you talking about? You self-reported. What the hell's going on? Ah, uh, champs. You see, there was a lawsuit pending. And as part of that arbitration, all parties were not allowed to speak publicly about the case. <laughs> I respected those rules. My lawsuit against Twitch was eventually resolved, as you all know. But even then, as part of the settlement, all parties were still prohibited from speaking publicly about the case or the settlement. However, if one side violated that confidentiality, then the other side could respond. And again, champs. Yeah, and you did, okay? And you responded, like, honestly, you responded in perhaps the worst way possible if you wanted to, like, defend yourself. You know what I mean? Because I feel like admitting to it, admitting to exactly what people uh, assumed it was is... You know, that's it. Again, I respected all the confidential obligations. 
Yeah. <laughs> also, I wonder who put the confidentiality obligations on the fucking settlement. I mean, it's a win-win for Twitch overall because they don't want to fucking have it be out there that like one of their top content creators was like trying to fuck minors using the w existing product of messaging that they had created. But like, ultimately, I feel like there's one there's one party here that like genuinely benefits from it a lot more as as in they were able to go to YouTube and still not be demonetized. You know what I mean? A former Twitch employee speaking anonymously due to concerns about their career told The Verge that Dr. Disrespect used Twitch's now defunct Whispers messaging system to exchange messages with her minor and discuss meeting up at TwitchCon. This employee was part of Twitch's trust and safety team at the time of Dr. Disrespect's ban in 2020. Their account aligns with a statement from Cody Connors, another former Twitch employee who worked on strategic partnerships. Corners said he got banned because he got caught sexting a minor using the old Twitch Whispers system. He was trying to meet up with her at TwitchCon. The powers that be could read in plain text. The former employee who spoke to The Verge also provided more context on the events leading to the man. They noted a significant gap between when the messages between Dr. The Disrespect and the minor were sent and when a moderation report was filed, though they could not recall the exact timeline. After receiving the report in 2020, Twitch investigated the claims and ultimately decided to ban Dr. Disrespect's channel. If you found this video informative, then make sure to subscribe to this channel and like this video for more videos like this. And thanks for watching.